Good evening, church. Thanks for joining me for another online devotional. Tonight we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 3, and I'm going to read starting in verse 14. It says, For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. So Paul here is kneeling before God in reverence and praying for the church. And what does he ask for? He asks that God would strengthen them out of the abundant riches of the grace that he has, not strengthen them physically, but strengthen them spiritually in their inner being. And the big part of his prayer here is about the love of God, that they would know the love of God. He mentions them being rooted and established in love. Think of roots. They go deep, and they keep things planted and established somewhere. Good roots can make it nearly impossible to move a plant or even a weed or something like a tree. And in the same way, we who have Christ in us have been rooted in his love. We are unmovable. And so Paul asks also that we would have the power to grasp something. How wide and long and high and deep the love of Christ is. In this, Paul is attempting to get us, the reader, to understand not the physical dimensions of Jesus' love, but that it is beyond measure. It is huge. It is great. And he wants them to know this love that surpasses knowledge. How can you know something that surpasses knowledge? Again, this is a description here of how big God's love is. It is so vast, so huge, so crazy, that we can't know it, at least not fully. It is beyond our ability to fully know, but we can know parts of it. We can see it, we can glimpse it, even if we can't fully know it. That's how crazy this love of God is, how huge it is. And so as we know it and come to know it as much as we can comprehend, he wants us to be filled with the fullness of God. The more we know him and his love, the more full we are. And I want that for me, and I want that for all of you. I encourage you, during this time, pray that you would be able to grasp how huge God's love for you is. Pray that your brothers and your sisters in Christ would have power to grasp and to know this great love that God has for them. Take some time and pray for this. And remember who you are praying to. As we are surrounded by a crazy world that doesn't know what to do or what to think right now, a world that is full of fear and a world that is full of hate, and as everybody has different thoughts on what is right and what is true, we are praying to a God. We are praying to the God. The God who, one, loves us, as is clear in Scripture, and two, as it says in the last two verses that we read here, is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. No matter how big your imagination is, no matter how many things you can think of to ask for, God is able to do more than all of that. And it is through his power that is at work in us, his church, that he does that. So let's continue to remember who we are praying to this week.
To him be all glory forever and ever. Let's pray. God, we ask that you would, out of the riches of your glorious grace, strengthen us and help us to grasp how huge your love is, how wide and how long and how high and how deep is the love of Christ. Help us to know this love that surpasses knowledge and fill us up with all the fullness of you. We want to know you more, Jesus. We want to know you more, God. So we ask you to be with us this week. Help us not to doubt you. Help us not to put our own human limitations upon you. All glory and honor and power belongs to you, God, and to you, Jesus. So fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can honor you and give you all the glory. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me this evening, church. Love you all, and we'll hopefully see you soon. And to all my friends in Belize and other places, um, I'm praying for you, and I'm praying this for you this week, that you would know this love of God that surpasses all knowledge. <laughs>